Now for C part one, we've got to find out then the time when Q is north of P. And then in part two, we've got to find when Q is northwest of P. And this is quite tricky, this one here. But first of all, we'll do this one, when Q is north of P. When Q is north of P, we would expect this vector here to be vertical, if you like, okay? There would be no I component. It would just be made up of so many J's. And that's the key to doing this. We know then that this part of the vector PQ must be zero. There must be no I's there. So we can say that therefore T minus one must equal zero. And that means that therefore T equals one, one hour. Now remember, these ships started at 2 p.m. And therefore, one hour after 2 p.m. is going to mean that the time is going to be 3 p.m. Okay, 2 p.m. plus one hour, 3 p.m. Time equals 3 p.m. Okay, well, that's that part. Now, this one you've got to take care over because when Q is northwest of P, let's just draw a little sketch here. Q would be, say, over here and P would be down here, say. And we would know that if we were to draw, say, uh, let's just draw a triangle in here, then when it's northwest of P, we would expect this angle in here, let's just north, okay, let's just mark that in as north. This angle would be 45 degrees. That would mean this would be 45 degrees. This too would be 45 degrees. We've got essentially an isosceles right angle triangle. So these two lengths must be exactly the same. Now we know what this vector is, okay? It's 70 minus 3. Let's just mark that in as 70 minus 3. We'll do it in green here. Okay? 70 minus 3 in the j direction. This vector, however, okay, t minus 1, is in the negative sense. We're only concerned with the length here. So this vector here might be, for instance, minus 3i. But its magnitude would be 3, 3 units. So we've got to be careful here. We want the negative of this value here. The negative of this would be minus t plus 1, or 1 minus t. This one was okay because it was in the positive sense. But this one is a negative value, but we're concerned with the length, so it had to reverse it round. Now we know that these two lengths are the same, so we can say that therefore 7t minus 3 must equal the 1 minus t. And that's the bit that you've got to be careful about, I feel. It's easy now. All we need to do is just add t to both sides. That's going to give us 8t there. Add 3 to both sides and you've got 8t equals 4, leading to t equals 4 divided by 8 or half, half an hour. So what's the time going to be now? Well, it was 2 o'clock when they started, so it's going to be 2 hours and 30 minutes. 2.30 then p.m. All right?